video we are going to go over the various summary statistics we could calculate in SAS. The overall code that accomplishes this is PROC univariate data is equal to whatever the data value is, plots, and then var variable that we were, try that we were trying to calculate the summary statistics for, and then run. And then we get a whole bunch of values which I specified on this Microsoft Word document here. But to show as, a, as an example using the survey S15 data set, let's say I want to compute those summary statistics for the first KISS column. So we're going to use PROC univariate data is equal to work dot survey S15. And then we need the plots in there, which I forgot. So PROC univariate data is equal to work dot survey S15 and then plots semicolon. Then we have a variable first kiss and then one. One in this. And it's not going to let us do that due to the fact that first kiss here has a not available value in Sabbath. Instead let's use this country's visited since that looks like it should be good. I'm going to change this variable of first kiss to countries visited. And that also doesn't like it. Oh, goodness. Okay. Let's use number of siblings. Num siblings. Which I must have spelled wrong. Uh, t -t -t -t. Let me see why. Num siblings. And I put in an extra I. Okay, the joy of uh, receiving errors while doing things, especially while on camera. Let us then use some value that's actually going to show up correctly. Not that one. It's due to the fact that some of these have NAs as values. And due to that, we can't calculate summary statistics for it. So instead, let me just use a different data set then, instead of attempting to redo that one multiple times over. Let me use this the data set. Let me just very quickly import this in. And then we could go about doing that. I'm going to do it with the, let's do it with the high lead level group for this. So this row, add this column, excuse me. So I'm going to call this work.lead, and we are going to use high lead level. And as you can see, they'll provide us a whole bunch of statistics here. So we have a mean standard deviation, variance, coefficient of variation, the um, median mode, standard deviation, variance, range, interquartile range. We have our tests for, based upon location, from when we look at that later on. We have the different quantiles and percentiles inside of here, along with the five number summary clearly labeled. We have potential extreme observations, um, missing values, and then we have a histogram of the data set along with a box plot. Do note that this, this histogram here could potentially be a stem and leaf plot, 
but I've never gotten that stem and leaf plot to actually work. And then down here we have the normal quantile plot for this particular data set, which as you can clearly tell from on here, has some type of pattern going on inside of it. So this is definitely not a normal distribution. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you.